Hello, eighth graders, and welcome to module four. And in this class, we're going to go over something that's really interesting, and it has to do with adding ES to words uh, in order to turn them into the plural or to change the verb into third person. It's really interesting and it's super easy. Today's assignment is actually very short, but before we go into that, please remember when you send me your audio, only send me one file. Don't send me two and three files with the same thing. Send me one file. And when you start out, don't give me the long introduction. Today I'm going to tell you, no, no, no. All you have to say is, hello teacher, my name is Peter Robinson. Number one, da da da. Number two, da da da. Number three, da da da. Don't give me an introduction. Please don't do that. And I, I mean, some of you have been doing it and you're lovely, but I don't want that. I don't need that. Uh, so just go straight into your assignment. So let me share my screen with you so that we can get this started. Okay, this is really fun. And um, if you look at your screen, there's a sentence at the top. And the sentence says, she always watches quizzes on TV while she washes the dishes and polishes the glasses. It sounds almost like a tongue twister. Okay, now some of these words, the ones that are highlighted in red, some of them are actually nouns, which are changed into the plural by adding ES. And some of them are verbs, which are changed into third person by adding ES. So for instance, watches is from the verb to watch, and that's the ES is because she watches. Quizzes is from the noun quiz, and the plural would be quizzes. Now, yes, quiz has one Z, but when we change it into the plural, we add an extra Z to it. So the plural of quiz has two Zs in it. Okay, so we add ES to words ending in S, double S, SH, CH, X, and Z to make them into plurals or into third person verbs. For example, one box, if I want to add, make that a plural noun, I don't just add an X, an S, because it would be box. No, so I add ES and I have to pronounce the ES. So it's one box and many boxes, not many boxes, okay, boxes. And the same thing happens with the verb to watch. I watch, she watches, you have to pronounce the ES, okay? I watch, she watches. So your assignment is that you're gonna pronounce each of these 24 words in an audio and you're gonna pronounce them clearly and slowly. Don't try to talk too fast because sometimes when you do that, you don't get all the letters in and in English, it's extremely important to pronounce all the letters, okay? Uh, all the letters that are supposed to be pronounced. Because there's a, there are a lot of silent letters, but like for instance, an S and an ES at the end or a D, it has to be pronounced. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for you slowly, at least twice. Number one, dash, dashes. Two, brush, brushes. Three, varnish, varnishes. Four, church churches, five porch, porches, six switch, switches, seven tax, taxes, eight mix, mixes, nine guess, guesses, ten cross, crosses, eleven reflex, reflexes, and twelve fizz, fizzes. Now, notice the difference between the SH, which is sh, and the CH, which has a, sh, a shorter sound, ch. So there's sh for SH and ch for CH. And you have to work, work on that and, and practice it a lot before you do the audio so that you can get the difference clearly. So for instance, the first word is dash, dashes. And um, number five will be porch, porches, okay? Porch, porches. So work on that. One has a long sound, shh, and one has a, a short sound, ch. So let's go over this list one more time. Dash, dashes, brush, brushes, varnish, 
varnishes, church, churches, porch, porches, switch, switches, tax, taxes, mix, mixes, guess, guesses, cross, crosses, reflex, reflexes, fizz, fizzes. And the Z sound, of course, that's really important. It's not like in people who come from Spain who say, th. no, that's not how the Z sounds. The Z is Z. Z. Okay, so fizz, not fifth. Fifth is something else, that's quinto. Fizz, fizz, and fizzis. The Z turns into an S, fizzis. Okay, have fun with that. Send me your audio. Remember what I told you, no long introductions. If you're not able to upload it to the platform or if you have any questions, you can email me at itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Have fun with this. See you next time.